you are determined before God by what you offer. Unless you receive, you won't give. Unless you have something, you won't do it. In fact, God requires what you are having to lift you. Tell your neighbor, God requires what is in your hand so that he lifts you. Can we just go to Genesis 4? We read there, when God requires something. One, two. And the man and the man knew if his wife and she conceived and bare Cain and said, I have gotten a man with the help of what? Of Jehovah. And again, she bare his brother Abel. And Abel was a keeper of sheep. But Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in a process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto Jehovah. Look at verse 4. And Abel, he also brought of the firstlings of his flock and of the fed thereof. And Jehovah had respect unto Abel Amen. and to his offering. Can you see that? Amen. Can you see that verse there? Yeah, one of the same. Verse 5. But unto Cain and to his offering he had no respect he had no what? respect I just want us to look at this that verse there you, you, you are determined before God by, by what you offer tell me about you are determined before God about because of what you offer. If you can read there, you can see a man was born first, just brought And God have got no respect with him. But Abel might have learned from Cain and took advantage. You can see when Cain the first got opportunity, he played with it. But Abel, he took time to watch. And the Bible says, he also brought his and God respected him. In other words, God accepted the offering of Abel. There's something that I want to tell you about the reason why God accepts. Number one is he accepts to make you to be recognized. What makes Cain to be angry is when God accepts to bring recognition to him. It was not a blessing that came to Abel. It was recognition. There's something that he might have seen that it happened when Abel gave, which never happened to Cain. So after Abel gave, he saw God accepting. And he realized that, oh, he walks with God. Jealousy rises. Listen to this. For you to to be accepted with your offer. You are just a candidate of the blessing, which is the creator, who creates all blessings. Even before you receive your blessing, somebody can still see your blessing. That is recognition. It goes by who recognize you. If now you don't give the best, 
you keep the best yourself. You want to be recognized by the best you. But when you release the best to the creator, you want to be recognized by the creator. Tell, tell your neighbor, my friend. I want to be recognized by the Creator. I want my offering to be accepted. Do you know that Let's though we are giving, it's not all offering that God called them offering. If He does not accept your offering, you didn't offer. How can you say you gave me something that I didn't take? How can you stand up and say you gave me money which I didn't receive? What God wants you to know is acceptance of your offering. Therefore, we could not just give God anything. Because what God will do, He will check it. He will check your offering. Tell us, my friend. God normally check our offering. If you want to see, Look at Jesus standing on the altar. When a widow comes with two fathers, and when Jesus checked, he realized that the widow gave the best. You are accepted after God checked. Tell me, you are accepted after God checked your offer. Or you are rejected with your offering. After God disrespected your offering. You are determined before God by what you offer.